Hi, this is Roisin from Sweet Eve Science, and today I'm going to be giving you part two of how to assemble this adorned cross cake topper. Click the link to make sure that you watch the design tutorial first. The materials that you'll need for this project are three types of cardstock, pearls and embellishments, a pick-me-up or similar, glue, including hot glue, foam stickers in different sizes, a non-stick scissors, and an acrylic stick. I will add the link in the description for all of these products. So let's start with the text. So gather up all of your text. And just start to sort them out and line them up. For this, you will need some Barely Arts glue and a pick-me-up. You can also use Art Glitter Glue if you're based in the UK or a similar tool which picks up gems or paper. All of these suggested items can be found on my Amazon storefront. Now use your glue and apply small dots. We're going to stick the first layer to the second layer. Applying small dots just means that you just have the right amount of adhesive. We're going to repeat this process for the first and second layer. This pick me up tool is really helpful for managing the mirror card, which is very fragile and can often bend and crack. And using the tool means that you handle it less and you're less likely to bend it or to mark it. There is a part at the bottom of this tool which is really helpful to help pick things up that can get stuck to your mat. Now we're going to repeat the same process with the second and third layer. Just be sure to remove any parts using a weeding tool that do not come out when you take them off of the mat. Now we're going to grab the welded offset, which is the part that connects the bottom and the top text. Again, I'm just cleaning it out because I just have some little bits that didn't come out. Just make sure it's nice and clean and then you're going to use your foam stickers but this is only going to be for the name section so you're going to apply the third and the fourth layer using small foam stickers you may need to trim these to get them to fit as the text is quite small an optional step i like to use is to reinforce all of my foam stickers using glue i just think it makes sure that there's a better hold So you can see here, the name part is slightly risen and that's your name section done. Now we're going to add on the God Bless and we're just going to apply it directly to the offset using glue. 
This will mean it will be slightly set back more and the name will be more prominent. And that's your text done. Now we're going to move on to doing our adorned cross. So grab your duplicate of your main part of your cross, which was the first layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the scissors and we're going to trim it. We want to cut off all of the circle part, so we're left just with the cross. Now let's grab our embellishments. And you will need a pick-me-up or something similar for this. You can see it has a kind of sticky end which helps you to pick up any pieces of paper or any gems. I'm going to add a main gem in the centre which I'm going to apply with hot glue. But this is optional, you could very easily leave this out and just do it all with pearls. It's up to you. So I'm just checking to make sure that it's stuck down properly and that it's centered where I would like it to be because I'm going to build all of my pearls around this. Now it's time to get our gems ready. I would suggest having them in a sort of storage box like this. It makes them much easier to pick up. Now we're going to start with Barely Arts glue or a similar glue and we're going to apply it in small sections. I'm starting with building around the centre. This glue just dry clear, so don't worry too much about the fact that you can see the white glue now. When you give it time, you won't be able to see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the pearls using my pick-me-up and I'm going to apply them directly on top of the glue. I would suggest varying the sizes. You don't have to do a specific pattern, just kind of go with the flow but maybe do a large, a medium, a medium, a small, and just keep mixing up the sizes. This is gonna give it a lot more dimension. And also, don't be too worried about the fact that you may be able to see some of the card through the pearls. Actually, this gives it a really pretty effect when it hits the light. So now I'm gonna speed it up, just cause this will take a very long time in real time. I will just continue to apply the pearls in sections. So now I'm going to work on the top. Apply a small amount of glue and just work in small sections. So once you're happy with the amount of glue that you've got, then start adding the pearls again. The glue is quite forgiving and it doesn't dry straight away. So sometimes you might find that you need to slide the pearls around to get them into the right place. Or you might want to change the size of the pearl that you just positioned. So just take your time and, you know, just work, making sure that you're going right to the edges. Sometimes the pearls might slightly overlap with the edge of the cross, but that's absolutely fine. Now repeat with the right hand side of the cross. Repeat for the left hand side of the cross.
Lastly, let's do the base of the cross. I'm just gonna fill mine up again because there were some sizes that were missing. You can see there's a slightly different shade of pearl here. I think this was from another set that I had, but when you put them down, you actually can't tell the difference. And that's your adorned cross done. In real time, this took me about 40 minutes. It's a labor of love, but it really is worth it. Now let's move on to the offsets. First, let's start by lining them up to make sure that we've got them all in the right position before we glue them. Now we're going to grab some larger foam stickers and we're going to apply it to the back of the first layer so that we can stick it to the second layer. I would suggest reinforcing with glue or hot glue because the topper is very heavy and this is going to be the main part which is going to hold the topper. Just make sure you're happy with where you've positioned it and that it's lined up perfectly. A good way to do this is to use the text as a guide because the text will be the same on every single layer. Now repeat the same process for each layer. If you're sticking onto glitter, I would always suggest using hot glue because other glues may not hold. And that's the main cross done. Now let's apply our adorned cross. So we're going to do this using some foam stickers. With this, it's essential that you use hot glue. Now let's apply our text. So just line up your text to work out roughly where you want it to sit. You will have the main shadow behind that can act as a guide. Now you will have a duplicate offset layer. The reason I didn't apply this when I was doing the text is because I wanted to see how it sat on the cross. You can make a decision if you think you need it or not. If you want to elevate your text a bit more, then just add this layer using foam stickers and glue. I'm using hot glue here because I couldn't wait for the other glue to dry, but you could also use the white glue. Now line it up again, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to work out which parts of the text actually sit on the cross, and that's where you need to apply your glue. You will need to use hot glue for this because if you use the other glue, it will just slide around and it won't stay in place where you need it to be. So you're going to need to work quite quickly. Just move it around and position it to make sure that it's in line with the shadow. 
and if you have any loose pearls or anything at the back just use hot glue to secure them or you can also use your barely arts glue and hold it in place and ta-da isn't it so beautiful i just love these toppers every time i see them they just take my breath away so I'm just going to hold it down now, just make sure that everything is exactly where I need it to be and it is completely attached to the cross. And now I'm going to add my stick. So you need to flip your topper over and work out where you're going to place your stick. So I would say at the base of the circle of the part of the cross would be ideal. Then I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to apply it to the back of the stick and then apply this directly to the backing of the topper. You have a little bit of time to make sure that you've put it dead centre. So flip it around and just check it to make sure you're happy with where it's sat. And then just make sure you hold until it's dry. You could use another type of glue for this, but it would take a long time. And I would say that to be safe, use hot glue because it's going to be the most secure option. Now let's apply the backing. This has two purposes. It helps us to cover the stick, but also most importantly, it makes sure that we make our top half sturdier. There was a lot of layers and embellishments that make this quite heavy. I like to use Beacon's 3-in-1 glue for this because I'm able to slide the backing into place. And then I just use hot glue to attach the stick to the back of the backing. Just take some time to position and make sure you're happy with where everything is placed. You'll be able to tell by flipping your topper around and making sure it's secure. As we're working with mirror card, it can often pick up a lot of fingerprints and residue from glue. So I'm just going to use my microfiber towel to clean off some of this excess, as well as my magic eraser. The link for these will be in the description. And there you have it, that's your adorned cross cake topper done. If you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. When you hit the subscribe button, it will make sure that you get alerts as soon as I post a new video. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for other content. While you're waiting for my cake topper tutorials to land, I have lots of others that you can watch. Find them linked below, including the basics of how to make a shaker, a spinning cake topper and a letter or number cake topper. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care and see you soon.